episode 71. I'm Bew Scholar, and we're going to go check on Randall Cobb, who plays for the Washington football team. Better known as something else. But I did take a peek at him, and uh, wait a second. Wait a second. Did I mess that up? Oh, no. Broncos. Sorry. Broncos. I did mess that up. He is their number one wide receiver. The Mark... The... Thomas? Albert Wilson. Emmanuel Sanders. Interesting setup, but he is hurt. And he is hurt for 14 weeks with a broken ankle. So that big big uh, contract that they gave him shoof boy not this year look at he finished his year with five catches 117 yards and zero touchdowns on a seven million dollar contract I think it's not as high as I, th I thought it was higher anyways seven million five catches so I just thought I would point that out to you. We're going to play the Seahawks today, and we're going to jump right into this game. And we're hoping for a win today because we've lost a couple in a row now, which I haven't talked to you about. I'll talk to you about afterwards. But, uh, yeah, Seahawks, slightly better in the overall. But they have some injuries that might affect that. And I'll be right back to show you the injuries. The medical center for us, Amari Cooper. Five more weeks. That sucks. Ray Pinnell. Placed on IR. He's done for the year. The Seahawks. Cam Chancellor. Shoulder tear. Doug Baldwin. And Thomas Rawls. When you look at it from outside the game, they actually give you the overalls. Because they were pretty decent. Like... I mean, he's an 88, so they have a 68. Ross Sherman, that's not the guy that I was having run in my other series. No, I don't think so. And then they're full back, 89 full back, so well, that's what I would have had. Oh, I should have looked to see if he got a new contract or not. Tyler Lockett, Kevin Brown. Because Doug Baldwin was an 85, but he's the 83 speed now. Jimmy Graham, 74 speed. The big plays aren't going to be there, but they're still going to be very good at catch. Mike Daniels, oh, you, you sad, sad man. Jaron Reed, Shane Ray, Bobby Wagner. No more KJ Wright. For Richard Sherman. 80 speed. Earl Thomas is still there. 83 safety. Rashad Jones, which would have been Cam Chancellor's an 83. 83. I think Cam Chancellor would have started over him. But we're going to get started with the game here and do a couple series. As usual, we're on defense first. So it is now the future, and Russell Wilson is still pretty phenomenal. So, handoff, breaks a tackle. Ugh. That was like a five-yard gain off the, off the get-go there. Offensive line. Jamina Freddy. Jimmy Graham, Tyler Lockett. I think that was it. Russell Wilson, of course. It's a screen. And he got blown up, and it's a fumble. And Kenny Clark has picked up the ball, and he trips and falls forward. Oh, Kenny Clark just barely got an ankle. Shoestring tackle on Kenny Clark here. Let's take a look at this. He tried to set up the screen and just blew up. 
Kenny Clark couldn't pick up the ball on the first try. Caused them not to score a touchdown. Packers take over with great field position. Aaron Rodgers under center. Interesting formation behind him. Back to pass. Little dump off to Favors. Spins and runs into the former KJ Wright. I don't know who it is now. All right, well, that was it for our defensive series. That was, that's what we'd like to see. We've got a little T formation going on here. A little handoff to Jones. Can't quite make it around the corner. Bringing up a third down and four. All right, got Ashon Flavors in the slot. Back to pass. Aaron Rodgers. Whoa! Bulleted it out over the everybody's head. Gonna kick a field goal. That's a win for the defense. All right, all right. Green Bay is up by 11. Uh, 17 to 6 with Russell Wilson turning the ball over. Three interceptions and one or two fumbles. I think it was just one. It was the one that we saw, but. Yeah, so, and then, so, Russell Wilson threw an interception, and then, um, Sankey fumbled the ball right back to him, and Russell Wilson got the ball back, and then Russell Wilson threw another interception, and so the Packers were able to, uh, grab a touchdown. They are not playing great, by the way. Uh, the Packers' offense is not, not doing well, and... What are you doing, cat? Sound weird. Cat's like hissing. The other one dropped a ball by Devontae Adams. Aaron Rodgers just gets the ball off. Probably just a little too high for Devontae. If it would have been more in front, he would have been able to catch it, continue running versus jumping. So, all right, third down and three, big, big third down here. Little dump off the favors, and favors has got the first down. He's like up to that dude's armpit, Merritt. Hey, he's taller than that. So I've been watching a, a series. It's from Madden 19, and because I'm remembering. You know, why did I switch from Madden 19 to 20 so quickly? And then I watched the series and I remembered why. And, uh, oh, that was a terrible run. The only thing that Madden did right was regression. Compared to 20 or 17, I think Madden's 19 regression was better. 20s is a little more extreme. 19 was a little more mellow later. Um... Stop running the ball, it's not working. <laughs> it's just not working. They're down in 13, guys. Um, yeah, you know, lower numbers, just people people that were above 30 were getting ones, twos, and 11. Some, you know, sometimes they would get big time. That was just the worst series ever. All right, so we're gonna be on defense now. All right, poor kick, poor punt to go along with that, unfortunate. Lee. Um, I gotta work on that guy's accuracy. That's that's his downfall. You can get him the 99 kick power, but uh, accuracy is important, I guess. So now is it? What's worth it more to have a punter that's in his 90s? Because that's, I mean, because I got like 11,000 points built up or something. So. What does a punter in his 90s want for a salary? Or do we want that extra kick power point? Ugh. 
Ooh, Jimmy Graham dropped it. This fourth down? Yep. Ooh, nice. Nice job there, Cyrus Jones. No, that was not Cyrus Jones. That was Kendall Fuller. I thought that was a completion. But it was not. So, again, no, neither team's offense doing well. Another interception for Wilson and then a touchdown for Flynn. So, that's four, four interceptions and a fumble for him. So, he's having quite the off game here. But there's, you know, plenty of time left for him to use his Seahawk magic and somehow win a game that he shouldn't win. But hopefully not. Hopefully the Packers defense can uh, just, you know, get off the field. No, not on this one. Oh, fumble recovery. Okay, so there is another turnover for the Seahawks. And John Sykes was hurt on the play. Hey, first down. Good. Going into the fourth quarter here. Just grinding them out. Ooh, Ash on favors with the Asher favors with the big gainer there. They're down in seven. Hey, I'm low on running backs. Don't be. Oh, we're gonna kick a field goal here. We missed the field goal earlier. All right, up by three scores now. As long as we don't lose to the Seahawks, I'm I'm happy about it. You know. Ten minutes left. We're driving. Making it look pretty easy right now. Scramble by Wilson, third down, and a sack. They're gonna kick a field goal. Oh, they went for it on fourth down. Turnover on downs. Felt like the field goal wasn't gonna do them any good. Good Madden logic there. Seriously. Alright, Antoine Hubbard are Drafted running back, who now gets hurt. Now we're going to be down to a backup fullback running the ball. Vander Underwood. Might need sign to run some fullbacks, or I mean some halfbacks here. Oh, that was a, they went for it on fourth down. Wow. That was amazing. Cost Aaron Rodgers a sack, but... Third and 15, a run by Matt Jones, kicking a field goal, all right, up by four scores now, four scores and 48 seconds later, the Packers have come in and beat the crap out of the Seahawks in CenturyLink Field with a sack to end the game and a turnover on downs, oh, I don't know who their coach is because P. Carroll's not there anymore, I guess. Oh my goodness, those cats. Let's take a look at these statistics. 36.4. Zero touchdowns, four interceptions, three touchdowns for Aaron Rodgers. Rushing. Russell Wilson, is that one fumble? Nobody's running the ball. Kicker. They're all hurt. Receiving. I don't think it was a great passing game. Flynn. Favors. Favors. Tomlinson. Yeesh. Defensively. Daniel Hunter. Like that. I always like to see. Oh, he had four sacks in the game? Neil Stallings, two two interceptions. Oh, that was beautiful. I'll have to look at the stats of the season after this. Through 14 weeks on the season, Aaron Rodgers, 26 touchdowns, three interceptions. Rating a 105.3. That is great. I like that. Rushing, we got ourselves a 1,000 a yard back, 4.4 yards of carry. Well, Yankees stealing this touchdowns though I mean that's great too look at that they're just a 
running the ball like crazy. Offensively, oops. Shaheen Savers is leading the way. Devontae Adams is second. EA servers are not available. Asher Favors, Anton Flynn, Amari Cooper following up third. And you know, look at that. He's actually got a lot of snaps considering. But uh, yeah. Long at 72. Devontae's got the long. Here's what we're looking for. Neil Stallings leading in kick and tackles. That's great. Tackles for loss. 23 for Kenny Clark. Oof. Man. Interception. Or he just had four in that game. So he had six and a half before. And now he's jumped all the way up to ten and a half. So that's kind of funny. But yeah, Noah Spencer. Noah Spence. That's good. Yeah, this is a, it's a good looking... Six interceptions for HaHa. Ha. He's having an amazing four. He had just had two, so well, Darby with three, and that's it. But that's pretty cool. Forced fumbles. People leading the forced fumbles. Neil Stallings, Ronald Darby. Two defensive touchdowns. Very excited about that, guys, because I saw that the the Bears were right behind us. They had beat the Viking or the Vikings, so we're only two games behind us now, and we have a better record than we did last year. Because uh, the worst we can do is ten and six. The Bears can do eleven and five right now, so we still don't have a division clinched yet. And uh, I think we can wait to go to the. Falcons and then maybe resign a player. I think we got a couple players left on our thing that we want to resign. Some lower end free agents. Oh man, we just lost a practice squad player. Can't remember who that is, but um Yeah, eight and five now. So they are definitely Right behind us. Okay, we are going to franchise tag. Haha, <laughs> Clinton Dix. Devontae. Uh, I. I. Oh, I gotta think about it. TJ Lang. No, unfortunately. Probably not. Jatavius Brown. David Bakhtiari. Jason. No. No. Yes. So we want to sign him to, uh, a three-year deal here 74 he's, he's gonna be a backup but he's not asking for a lot let's um, grab a couple calculators sorry guys 3.24 divided by 2 because I can't do math in my head when I'm tired Long day at work. Start negotiating. Three years. You should take that, right? All right, Neil Ellis is gonna continue to stay as a Green Bay backup linebacker. So, Kendrum, Kendrum Con Conway here was a practice squad pickup a 70 overall corner cornerback at uh, signed off that we lost 
to uh, the 49ers. Not a huge loss, but it is what it is. So we're going to sign DJ Tucker as his practice squad replacement, the 21 year old cornerback from Florida A&M. I don't think he make the team next year, but he's got some good speeds. We shall see. We shall see. And bad news now. Heading into the playoffs, we are not going to have Matt Jones available for four weeks with a dislocated elbow. Just noticed that. Man 19 did a better job of telling you when you had injured players. This one, kind of a mystery every once in a while. So we'll get Mari Cooper and Matt Jones back four weeks, which will be the divisional round. So hopefully, hopefully we can skip that wild card game and just go to the division round and that would be pretty amazing. It does look like a possibility if we can just basically win out. I mean, finish 13 and three and uh, have a first round buy. Well, that was a great game. I love beating the Seahawks. The Bears are two behind us with uh, three games to go. We gotta beat the Falcons, Ravens, and the Bears. I don't know how difficult that's gonna be, but uh, start with the Falcons. They're eight and five. See how it goes. I probably am just gonna play this off camera and uh, see you at the end of the game. But you never know. Also, thanks for watching. Episode 71 is done. Be a squaller signing out.